Tim, welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Hublot Classic Fusion Chronograph King Gold Green in 18 karat Hublot King Gold Red Gold. This watch with a sensational sunray green dial and a matching alligator leather insert about its strap is a stylish and coherent blending of colors, materials, tones, and textures. It's a large watch. 45 millimeters in diameter, this classic fusion chronograph has an impressive wrist stance. By the way, if you're wondering what's the difference between Hublot's King Gold and Magic Gold, think of it this way. King Gold is red, Magic Gold is hard. Is the gold red? Then it's King Gold. And on my wrist, it is a striking figure, 45 millimeters in diameter. It's not as thick as you might expect. At 13.6 millimeters thick, this is a watch that can slip underneath a jacket cuff with a relative level of ease considering its outright dimensions. It's not overbearing across the wrist at 53.4 millimeters. You can see part of the advantage of the Hublot case form is that it does begin to slope down and around your wrist, allowing a large watch to wear smaller. Hublot recognizing you can build a bigger watch, but you can't build a bigger client, builds these to sit tight. Even on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it's an ideal fit and a comfortable, natural fit. The strap is also a comfortable and natural fit. It's a few Fusion of materials. Hublot loves to talk about fusion, and here it is in practice. The inner case is titanium, the outer case is gold. The strap is both alligator leather in a sort of military olive green, large rectangular scale, monotone stitch, semi gloss finish, and on the underside, Hublot's signature natural vulcanized rubber. Since the very first Hublot in 1980 combined a rubber strap with a gold case, this has been a signature of the brand. Of course, now we have King Gold and rubber with a little bit of leather mixed in. The clasp is a high-grade component with Hublot's signature H-pattern screws, and you can see them omnipresent on the watch. They're in the lug hoods, as well as the bezel itself, and on the clasp, they cap a satin-finished center segment with polished shoulders. It is a thoughtfully designed clasp with a trigger system, so you have to press both triggers to open it up. And then internally, you can see there is an H-pattern, Hublot's logo, in the chassis of the clasp. Thoughtful attention to detail. The trigger is ensuring this cannot accidentally pop open no matter what. And the clasp body being designed to tuck excess strap length underneath the strap itself, as well as under the clasp. So there are no minder loops on the strap. There's no excess length flapping the breeze. It's very coherent and very clean. There's a nice integration of strap and case that's uncommon. We're used to seeing bracelets integrate with case forms, but here you can see both the swell of the strap when seen from the top and the thick cut as seen from the flank nicely match the dimensions of the case. The case is a study in contrast as it features both hard angles and creases as well as sinuous and sensuous compound curves. It's the yin and the yang of case design. It's also robustly mechanical and structural. As you can see, the case band itself, the case back, the gasket that separates the bezel from the case, and it's all built up in a machine-like fashion that becomes the Hublot brand image. You'll also note that the pushers for the chronograph are nicely shouldered to give them a little bit more volume and body, and the crown side is punctuated by an Hublot logo crown with a deep knurling for easy grip and winding. Behold the namesake of this model. This is the green dial. It is a sunray green dial, which is to say it has a chameleon-like quality. In different types of light, it gives you a different aesthetic. In bright light, it's explosive. In soft light, it glows warmly. The appliques with rose gold are a nice complement to the green as the warm tones are a perfect pairing. The registers themselves are a sort of green-gray with gilt-style gold on green-gray print for high contrast. Seconds at three, chronograph minutes at nine, and the base itself, I'll do my best to give you a little bit of the prismatic effect. Although it is green, you can see shades of violet and orange and yellow and blue in it. It is a complex composition. Underneath the dial, and you will note there is a date window at six o'clock, but underneath the dial sits an Hublot caliber 
1143. Automatic winding, 42 hour power reserve, quite slim with a bi directional winding action and a 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate. In addition to its automatic winding and chronograph function, this one features hacking or stop seconds, as well as a quick set for rapidly cycling the date should it run down or encounter an irregular length month. It's also important to note that this is a full featured sports watch with 50 meter water resistance. This timepiece, handsome, wearable, large, and large of both dimensions dimensions and personality. This one simply dripping with charisma. See it and learn more on our website, govbergwatches.com.